Hmm, I don't think this one's gonna work anymore. <laughs> um, this is actually a sensor from a Fujifilm X-T1 and uh, some other models. Here you can actually see it says uh, Fujifilm. This is uh, comprised of a uh, 0.5 millimeter. You can actually see the silicon right there, the silver layer of the actual uh, sensor. The uh, cover glass is really tough. The uh, cover glass, as you can see, I've got rem uh, remnant right over here. It's really tough to break. This uh, strip along the sensor of this uh, tough cover glass is uh, ultraviolently sealed, and it is just impossible to remove. So took the easy road and did a crack on it. I wanted to show you something because I get asked this question all the time. Let's grab the magnifying glass here. You take a closer look. You can see the center section here where I actually scraped it off. Right here. That is the color filter array. All I did is use a thin razor blade and with very little pressure, remove the CFA, the color filter array. You'll actually notice if I bring it parallel to the camera, you'll actually see that the center section right here is uh, better, higher reflectance than the other sections that have the CFA over it or the color filter array. If I were actually didn't destroy this sensor, there's actually an extremely expensive piece of equipment that uh, Max Max is a company that uh, removes the color filter array, uh, removes to uh, turn this into a monochrome sensor. So it's just a really, really thin filter that sits over top of the silicon substrate of the CMOS sensor. So you can see it here along the edge. There you go. You can see the silvery edge of the... Uh, these are always interesting to show people how thin these are. These uh, little gold. It's just the slightest pressure, like a gram of pressure will actually... See that? <laughs> That's how delicate these actual gold leads are, which lead into the sensor. Now, this is what uh, gets people. They're always worried about when they do a sensor cleaning. Oh my God, my sensor is so fragile. No, it's not. Here we have, <laughs> here we have a, a piece of sensor. <laughs> oh, here's a piece of sensor, and here's a piece of sensor. Um, you actually go to clean your sensor. Not only do we have this ultra, ultra tough cover glass over top of the sensor, which is hermetically sealed in the extreme, but over top of that we have the IR pass filter, which is a double pane. So we have this, which is kind of greasy from fingerprints. So we have the sensor, the cover glass, the IR pass filter, which is double plate, and then we actually have another piece of glass which actually sits in the... Um, uh, sensor bracket cover on a Fujifilm, Fujifilm's design. So we have one piece of glass, two more pieces of glass, that's three, and then we have the ultra tough. So anybody that's uh, like uh, pussing out, excuse my language, on uh, cleaning their sensor need not worry. You're not going to mess up your sensor. You're, you're not even going to get close to it with a sensor swab. Not even close. But anyway, this is the sensor. This is actual the cable contact, which leads to the main board for processing the information. There's a little micro resistors back here. But uh, it's just a half millimeter thick silicon CMOS wafer from the uh, Sony foundry. It's beautiful, isn't it? That beautiful color is the diffraction, but also coupled with the CFA color filter array. And right down here at the bottom, you can see where it says Fujifilm. Fujifilm. I don't think this sensor is going to work anymore. Cletus, I think I might be done for. Yeah. I've got drawer. I got a drawer full of sensors, by the way. So there you go. Isn't it colorful? It's psychedelic, right? Ooh, look at that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, you can click the link below. Tell me to jump off a cliff, whatever makes you happy. Now you know a little bit more about your sensor. Half a millimeter thick 
of 99, actually, technically, this is what it is, by the way, this is exactly accurate, 99 point, let me see, we got six more nines, 99.999995 pure silicon. Let me repeat that again to be accurate, 99.999995% pure silicon. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, because uh, you, you just had to know that information. Thanks for watching. Bye. Fuji!